Hey, how you doing? Today I'm going to show you how to change the blade out on the DW744 Type 1 table saw. Um, we're doing a lot of ripping, so I bought this uh, dedicated ripping blade. It's got uh, four, 24 teeth um, and big gullets in between. That allows it to eject all that extra sawdust out even faster. Makes it a nice clean cut. So we're going to put this on there. I'll show you how we do it. We're going to start over here on the side of the saw and get these wrenches off of here. If you can find a wrench that has lots of rust on it and scratches and all kinds of you know, twists and things, that's ideal. So look for one like that. Otherwise, just use the stock one that comes with your saw. So I put this back on there so that the extra throat plate won't fall off. As easily, I guess. Come over to this side just to show you. This is not plugged in. Don't do this with your saw plugged in. That's just dumb. All right, let's get to it. So a lot of people, when they want to change out their saw blade, they're tempted to mess with these screws. These screws are just for lining up the throat plate with the face of your table saw. So don't mess with those. Just carefully pry it up. Pull it out. You don't need to mess with those screws. Raise your saw blade up as high as it'll go. It'll just make it easier for you to reach everything that's going on here. All right, so two wrenches because there's two sides that you gotta work on. All right, so you wanna use the open end of the wrench on the side that's inside the saw and the closed end wrench on the side that is on this side of the blade because you can't get the closed end inside here without taking the blade off first. You know they say righty tighty lefty loosey, right? So we're gonna gently start to pull back on one wrench to loosen it. All right, there we go. Starts to loosen up. At this point, as long as you hold this open end wrench, you can hand loosen your arbor nut. Make sure you drop it down in there so you can't find it. I'm just kidding. Try and hold it with your hand if you can. Alright. So there's going to be a couple different parts coming off here. You got this giant washer looking thing that probably has a better name for it. And it actually is nice on here. It may not show up in the camera, but right here it says blade side. So you know the side goes up against the blade. I'm glad I had it right. That would have been embarrassing if it was on the wrong way. Okay, I'm going to take off the old blade. Alright, so that's not a bad blade. But I'm just not going to use this one for now. Since this is a ripping blade, I'm going to rip this open. No, that's stupid. Alright, there it is. All right, new blade. So, it'll show you on the blade the direction of the cut. That means the blade needs to spin this way. So the sharp pointy parts need to be pointing toward you when you are cutting. Um, can't say that enough because you got to put the blade on the right or it's just not going to cut right. Okay, so blades back on. I'm going to put my giant washer thing, put that back on there, blade side facing the blade. Arbor nut back on there. There we go. Get that hand tightened. Okay, um, first time I did this, I got some, you know, nicks on my fingers because I tried doing this too aggressively. Um, just relax when you do it. I like to push one side all the way and then engage the other side and just gently once you can get it, just gently pull it. 
You're not trying to like get this thing so it'll never come off again. You're just trying to get it nice and tight. So just go a little bit at a time. That way you don't risk your fingers or the you know the wrench flying off of there and it cutting you on the blade. So just doing a little bit. And that's good. That's tight. It's good to go. Alright, that is pretty much it. So you may notice on on your uh, throat plate, there's these little inserts here. They go right into a couple slots here. Slide it over the blade. If I had a zero clearance insert plate, I'd put that in, but I don't have one. Slide it in, push your saw blade back down. Wrench it away, screw it every way you're done. Thanks, have a good one.